Well, hello everybody. This is Alan Paul with another recording. Tonight we're going to do something a little different. Of course, as you all know, we have the latest Expedition Redux out right now. This is one of my favorites. This is the Outlaws or Pirates Expedition, as it's called. Its official name is The Blighted. And look forward to um, showing you some of the ins and outs about this one. Now, what I've been doing, I was on vacation for uh, a few days and I just got back. Um, what I've been doing uh, in the last day or so is I've been playing the expedition a little bit on my own so I can remember a lot of what happened. I've been watching some of the fellows out there, some of the other gamers uh, that have been playing No Man's Sky, going through it. And as I'm watching them play it, after I've been going through it a little bit, as I'm watching them play it, I'm like, oh, don't do that. Oh, wait, wait, you should get this. And I'm realizing that there's a lot of things you can do at the very beginning to achieve a lot of the... Um, uh, a lot of the goals in this expedition. So I'm going to show you a couple things you can do at the very beginning that are going to make things so much easier for you later on. Um, so you'll see that I'm already playing The Blighted uh, up here. Uh, I've got about two hours of play time, two hours and 45 minutes of play time. And um, by no means am I going to be doing any kind of a uh, speed run or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new run community expedition now I'm playing this with the understanding that anybody watching this has already played no man's sky that you do have a basic understanding of how the game is played and how you do things so I'm not going to do this like a tutorial this is more of long line along the lines of like a, a playthrough how I'm going to do things and a couple of tips and tricks that you can do along the way something for more along the lines of just for your enjoyment so I hope you uh, I hope you like this we're going to go ahead and get it started and off we go so as the title scene is starting up, uh, let me describe a couple things. Now, everybody, as you know, is starting off with every expedition. They all start off on the same planet. So everybody goes to the same planet. Now, of course, you can only have so many people in the same planet at a time. So obviously, there's going to be different uh, levels or, or uh, dimensions, if you will, that everybody's going to be part of. So we're all going to start on the same planet. There's plenty of resources You've got, uh, or you can have a shield that's going to protect you from the elements that will last the duration of however long it takes for you to get to your ship. So keeping that in mind, you've got plenty of time to get some things done. You have some repairs to make for some of the things that you have on you. So remember to repair these things. So that's another thing. You'll notice that my volume is turned way down on the game right now. Uh, you can probably barely hear it. So the first thing I'm going to do is when I get in here, I'm going to turn the volume back up on the game. So you can actually make out some of the sounds and stuff like that. Um, not sure why it's so quiet this time around, but it seems to happen every single time. So let's go ahead and get this started. There we go. Oh, maybe you can pick up some of the audio pretty well. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, this planet. So you notice a high toxicity planet here is what we're looking at. So it's going to be a little tough on you, but it, like I said, it should be easy. What in the world? I think I'm starting on a hillside. This is really strange. I never started out like this before. I remember watching Jason play one of the expeditions. He started out underwater one time, and he's like, whoa, six years he's been playing. He's never had that happen to him. So this is pretty neat. All right, so we got some of the basics going. Our health is in okay shape. We're going to have that shield going. We're going to gain the or get the usual uh, elements. We're gonna need some carbon, we're gonna need some ferrite. So let's get some of the elements while we go. And here we go. And one of my favorite creatures yet again. Hey buddy. So anyway, this, holy mackerel, I'm literally perched on a cliff. <laughs> Good God. Okay, so let's take a look. While he's still stable, not falling off of anything, we'll take a look at the expedition. Now, a lot of the other players are also doing the same thing, showing you the different phases to the expedition and uh, some of the different uh, uh, milestones, if you will, inside of them. So here's a milestone. Uh, so what we got here is we've got to locate our starship. We've got to repair the starship, obviously. We're going to have some problems with it. But the Blighted has allowed us to not... You see now it says the milestone is currently blighted and will be revealed as the hunt unfolds. So as we progress through some of these other sections, this one will suddenly become understandable what we need to do. We need to visit a red star. We need to read it, reach our first rendezvous. Now, your starship doesn't have a hyperdrive that's working, so you're going to have to get that fixed and installed. That's going to require other elements that you can get from this system that you're in very easily, and I'll show you how to do that. 
But as we go through this, you'll notice here's the second one. Nothing special. We've got another blighted one. We're going to visit a pirate system. We need 16 Gravitino Balls. Well, guess what? There's a planet in the system that we're in that already has these. And that could be very handy because that could be very worth our while to get that. Let's go on to Phase 3. Um, deploy a submarine, another blighted unit here. We're going to reach an ocean depth, uh, quite a treasure. We're not going to really do anything here in regards to that. So let's move on. Eliminating 16 Sentinels. Well, if things go right, we should be able to get a weapon for our multi-tool. And then we should be able to go ahead and knock out 16 Sentinels. We'll be able to steal the Sentinel Pillar. And guess what? We're going to need to knock out not only the 16 Sentinels, but we need to wipe them out completely. We need to go through all five levels of their attack in order to get a Walker Brain, because you're going to need one. Visit a Blue Star, and then obviously another Treasure Hunt going on there. And then the final rendezvous, you know, we have to recruit a pilot to our squadron, which means we're getting a freighter. We're going to have to shoot down 16 pirates. Believe it or not, it'll be a piece of cake. By the time you get to uh, probably the third phase, you will probably have already acquired all 16 pirates by then. So let's go ahead and get started. we got our first thing. we got to locate our starship in order to do so. If you'll notice, I go to hit my F, and it's telling me my analysis visor is critically damaged. Now to get, get, get some carbon nanotubes. So let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, this is ferrite dust, so let's go ahead and take some of that. We need it anyway. Mining beams at 50, 48 etc. dropping and you'll notice we're in normal mode this is not permadeath so you're going to be safe from all the other elements and everything like that uh, you don't have to worry about dying very easily here but if you can still do something stupid to kill yourself off so keep that in mind now I need some carbon hey guess what those plants are too far away and too small to be of any use to me alright so we're gonna try going I think this way Oh, this ought to be interesting. And I'm going to get to get hurt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> stay put, stay put, stay put. Wow, this is a very bad start. <laughs> At least my, uh, my backpack is fully recharged. i got to get over there somehow, but I think the best way to go would be go down and stop trying to kill myself. What do you say? Let's get the shield back up first. Hold on. We haven't lost any of the pluses on the top left, so let's give it a couple moments. Okay, disappeared. And recharged. Good. Whew. Well, that could have been bad. <laughs> Good grief. I have no idea how far I fell. Wow, what a terrible starting point. And I, you know, I almost guarantee you that, that the ship is that way. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. But anyway... So recharge. We'll take this easy. Are those? That's ferrite dust too. Okay, we'll go down. Yeah, we'll get some. Yep, yep. Can't do it. Keep forgetting. Sorry, I knew that. My bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Woo! That was fun. Good gravy. Okay. All right, we got some carbon. Let's go ahead and grab it. All right. Oh, look at this. The buried technology, uh, or as we like to call this, the unburied technology module. And that's worth some cash, so let's go ahead and grab it. Give us two, it looks like. That's all right. So just like any normal start, even though this is an expedition, we're going to go ahead and gather resources like we would if we were just starting out a normal, ordinary game anyway. We just need some stuff. We Obviously, we're going to need nanites, so let's go ahead and grab them. We can, discover, we can discover creatures if we go along. So we've got carbon. Let me just make... Yeah, I should be able to make one carbon nanotube out of this. No, I need 50. Of course I do. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. There's got to be something around here I can absorb. This is ridiculous, right? Yeah, those plants are a little bit big. Yeah, that guy will do. Okay, let's make that carbon nanotube, shall we? All right. And we'll rearrange things in here in just a second. Okay, good deal. Let's move you out of the way. Move you there. Now, something I'm going to put in here, I'm not going to be able to build it yet, obviously, but I need to get a terrain manipulator. We're going to need that later on. So make sure you just put it in. We don't have the resources to build it yet, but it's there. 
Now that we have analysis visor, let's check you out, buddy. Now, how many of these people we got? Let me see. 11 creatures on this planet. Um, my thinking, this may take a while to discover all 11 of them. But I know that, you know, going to a planet that has, like, one creature on it is always a great thing, and you can find some great stuff. But, you know, honestly, uh, your best bet at this point would be to just do the best you can um, and trying to get as many creatures on one planet if you can uh, on, a, on a larger credit, larger planet. So here, my radiation protection is already falling. You'll be most likely fortunate enough not to start on a extremely steep hillside. Uh, you'll have easy access to a lot more resources than I'm getting at the moment, so uh, I'm going to need more carbon soon. Uh, hi there. I'll take you. There we go. Oi. This is going to be a lot of fun. So where's my ship at? Was I right? Uh, let's see. South. No. Fortunately, my ship is literally on that island in the middle of the lake. Holy mackerel. Oh, that's incredible. Okay. Well, let's get some carbon while we're here. Uh, I want to check this thing out real quick. Come on. Okay. Oh, it didn't give me anything. Let's try it again. That can happen sometimes, so you know, just keep that in mind. Now, there should be a technology unit right here. Did I miss it somewhere? I know I didn't walk right past it. must be buried at my feet. Hey, look, some, some uh, sodium. We could use that. Oh, there it is, right there. So it is buried. Okay, well, we should have just about all the resources to build what we need to build that. Let me see here. Yep, I have enough to get one, and I still need more carbon to get a another carbon nanotube, so no, I don't want any more of that. I'll get more of that later. Oh, good. Lots of carbon right here. Let's go ahead and grab it all. Before I overheat. There we go. Get myself a bunch of carbon here. All right. All right, good deal. Eh, I'll grab the last one. What the heck? No? Okay, I'm not worried about it then. That should be more than enough to get what we need. There we go. Multi-tool. While we're here. There we go. And we got our terrain manipulator. So guess what we're going to get? And get two more of those. That should give us plenty of starter cash. Alright, I think we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and head to the ship. We do need some more hydrogen. It looks like there's some right over there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Well, yeah, that's not a lot, is it? Need at least 40 of it. Now, one thing that they do give you in this is they give you, if you didn't notice before, a personal refiner. So, let's go ahead and fill her up. We're going to need it later. Let's move some things around. Get some shields where they need to be. There we go. Everybody boosts off everybody else. We'll move some stuff around. Yeah, it looks good. I think I'll put you back down here. 54. Okay, so we got a dihydrogen that we can get now. would like to find just a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Nope, chip pack. Some more sodium. Eh, okay. We're going to have to gather resources the old-fashioned way, but we have enough for one more dihydrogen... Uh, and uh, that'll come in handy for us for the repair in the ship. Did I get any pure ferrite? No, I did not. Nope. At some point when you're gathering ferrite dust, you might get some crystals from it. And sometimes that gives you the pure ferrite without having to refine any regular ferrite. Oh, there's one. Let's see what we got out of that. 
No, nope, just regular ferrite. Okay. We're gonna need it, so we might as well do it. And I'll go ahead and get 50 ferrite because uh, pure ferrite, because we kind of need it. So, uh, let's see. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Should we go for a swim? Hmm. Hey, while we're here, you need some of these. You know why? Because you're going to need to build something that requires them. So if you can get some early in the game... Um, okay. There we go. And while we're here, let's watch all these. We're going to have to build that submarine, and it requires those uh, crystals. So it looks like we got some more over there. We'll grab some. I think we need five, if I remember correctly. Okay. Okay, that's three underwater. I don't think we're going to find too many more others down here. Okay. Where was that? Ah, there it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab some more of those crystals. I think we need a living pearl, too. I think we need one. I don't remember. While we have some sodium, let's recharge our shield. No, it's not the shield, but it's the main thing here. Oh, crap. Okay. Get this before it explodes. There we go. And up to the surface. And there's a couple of those, so we'll grab some of those. I don't think there's anybody else around, right? Okay. Alright, yeah, there's one down there. And yeah, we'll just go with this one. It's right out in the open. Okay, I think we only need one of those. Alright, so we should be good to go. I've got six of those sulfide crystals. There we go. And if you happen to look down and you notice any double... No, I don't see any. Help, like double stars like that. You can get a submerged relic. Those are actually worth quite a bit. Uh, last I think I heard, I think it was... Uh, what, about 50? I think they're about 50,000 credits each. And since we have the ability to grab some, let's grab some while we can. Yeah, 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 I know. Alright, let's go down and grab that sucker. Adel cores, that's right. Let's see how much it was worth, I'm curious. 92,000. That's right, we're in normal mode. So we need this, we're going to hang on to it, we're going to hang on to this, we're going to sell these, and we're going to sell these. Okay, so, good shape. And looks like we've got a buried technology module away on the other side of that mountain, so we're not going to go for it. Let's get to our ship, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I jump out of the water, you're going to tell me it's a stream radiation. I know. But you notice it's not dropping really quick. So, I think we're in pretty good shape. Hey, guess what? Located our starship. Alright. Eh, while we're here. Blah, 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 blah. Corvax, Atlas, yada, yada, yada. Seek up with language, blah. Okay, we're done. We could have done the uh, seek up with knowledge in the past and look for the relics in the ground, but you know what? I'm not going to take my time to do so. So, what a lot of the guys have been doing is they've been going after some of these deposits. Like, they'll go after a copper deposit. But you know what? You're better off going for the uranium at this point. Uranium's a little harder to come by um, for some reason. I don't know why. Um, sometimes you can find a pilot with it. But the one thing you'll be able to find is chromatic metal, believe it or not. But let's get this ship repaired, shall we? So, pure ferrite. And we need dihydrogen jelly and hermetic seal and metal plating. Let's get the metal plating. The hydrogen, 
Uh, metal plating, we'll start with that real quick. Let's get these two added in just to get them out of the way. And back to the exosuit. We're going to go into our inventory here. We're going to pull you out. And we need carbon. Let me see. Oh, no. We're going to need all of it. And we need 30. There we go. Okay. Whoop, went too far. Starship. And we're going to do Hermetic Seal. And we already got the Pure Ferrite, so let's put the Pure Ferrite in. And we're going to do the Hermetic Seal. Our ship is now repaired. Um, I put my Photon Cannon over here for now. Because it gives a little extra oomph when you're fighting pirates later. Oh, did I just give something away? Yes, I did. Okay, shield's there. We'll leave you there for now. Launch thrusters we'll put over here. We could put it over there, but honestly, you're not getting enough of a charge out of it to make any difference. Okay, we're all set. We're going to get our... There you go. Milestone completed. So let's go ahead and complete these completely. How's my... Yeah, my, my everything else is all right for now. Because you'll notice my life support and stuff is getting low, but what are we getting for an award? Iron batteries... Life support gel. There we go. And we're going to get a movement module for our jetpack, so that's going to come in handy as well. All right. Okay, we're in good shape now. Let's go ahead and add in that uh, movement module real fast. Hope I get a good one. I got a good one last time. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too shabby. 161 is pretty good. Sprint distance a little extra. Recharge is a little slow, but that's all right. Yeah, I know. Let's get the other one real fast. And some warps. We've got some warp cells. Well, that's great, but we have a warp drive that needs fixing. And some wiring looms. Those are going to come in real handy. And launch thruster modules. So let's go ahead and add that now while we can. So that's going to help our launch thrust. And that's actually pretty good. Negative 23 launch cost and a plus 10% boost is nice. All right. Our ship is ready. Now, like I said, we do need some uranium. We do have... That was our launch thrusters looking 50%, but see, we're going to fix that in just a second. So remember, I should have... There it is. Mark that uranium deposit. So let's go take a flight up there. Oh, you know how I hate this view. Let's fix it. We're going to go ahead and... F there we go. Okay, now I can see the ground where I want to land. So we're going to get some uranium, and that's going to recharge our launch systems. Hopefully that can land here someplace. There we go. Problem with these cliff faces, man. Alright, so we're going to have to be careful, because... Oh, man, I didn't park a little bit further away than I expected. There we go. And we're going to make it small. I know Jason's all about doing the medium size because he just wants to gather it up real quick, but you need quite a bit of this stuff. So go ahead and gather up what you can. You're, it's your choice. Honestly. Whoop. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm actually making a ledge for myself to stand on. As I'm falling constantly. Hopefully the storm won't eat away too, too much. But I do have a battery. And I'm going to let this go down a little bit before I throw the battery in my uh, shield. Okay. I'm getting a little silicate powder in there. But that's okay. We're going to use that to recharge our uh, terrain manipulator here soon. Now, I should end up with a few hundred of the uranium. Which should be enough to get me through most of this whole spiel. Uh, this whole expedition, so that should be good. What a start, though, starting on a cliff face like that, right? Good grief. All right. Okay, we're down about 50% on the radiation protection, so that's good. I can barely make out what I'm digging out here. Quite a little deposit. That's pretty good. All right. 
right, good, good, good. So like I said, this may take a little bit longer, and yes, you're using more fuel from your terrain manipulator. Oof. All right. I want to talk about your close-ups. All right, so we're going to go ahead and recharge my shield now. So that gives me a full shield, and it's going to recharge my hazard protection all the way at the same time. And look at that. Storm clearing. So is this really worth it? It does. It, it doesn't take much to get your launch fuel. I mean, you, you have to actually use more resources to produce a launch fuel. Uh, what do I have? I should have plenty there. It takes a lot more to make a, as far as I'm concerned, more resources to make a um, you know, metal plate and to use the other resources to create launch fuel, whereas the uranium charges it immediately in small, smaller quantities than you would use otherwise. Okay, now I just need a little silicone in order to keep my terrain manipulator up to snuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go large. We're going to go big and gather up as much. So see how much silicate powder I'm getting? Yeah. Ah, a little bit of uranium thrown in there for good measure, huh? Just carve out a nice little cave here. Nobody's going to miss it. Don't worry about it. And not too long from now, somebody else will, you know, it'll it'll refill itself back in at some point. All right, that should be good. How much have we got? 520. I guess we're in good shape. And 590 uranium, so that's pretty good. We did, we, did, we made a, a good run on this. All right, let's get to the ship, and we're going to recharge our life support, of course. Oh, come on. All right, let's recharge the jetpack and try to get up to our ship here. There we go. Oof. Pain in the neck. Ugh. And we're back. Okay, good deal. Let's move some stuff over, shall we? Uh, let's see. So we want to keep this in our inventory. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hang on to that for now. I'm going to bring you down here. Put you over there. There. We need that. We don't have much of it left. Silicon powder. Carbon. We're going to put this in the ship. This in the ship. This in the ship. Okay, that should work for now. Uh, let me just put you over here to one side. I don't think I need you. These two are just matching colors, and I like that. We're going to get some more resources here in just a minute. All right, everything's rearranged over here. So you notice this? 590? Yeah, see that? 33, not even, 23. Use it 23 to fill it up all the way. And it's very handy to do that. All right, let's get ourselves moving here. So we've got to get some stuff. We need to sell some stuff. We need to get some stuff. Now, one thing that they always teach you, a lot of the guys will always teach you, is to take out some of the terrain with your guns because you're going to gather up resources a lot better and with a lot more efficiency than this. So we're getting more carbon this way. I can find some nice flat planes here would be really great. Keep it up. I could use some carbon. Some more geodes, that's good. How much did we get? Not a lot of carbon at all. We got plenty of ferrite dust. And pure ferrite, of course. We'll need some of that later. You'll see why. Uh, let's get to the top of one of these mountains and see if maybe we can find some more carbon somewhere. Because we can get ferrite dust from um, the trade stations, you know, the space station as well. But the one thing we can't get is we can't get a lot of carbon. So, yeah. I'd like to find large deposits of plants or something like that if I could find them. These big ones aren't going to give me anything at all. So I know this is kind of puzzling that I would be doing this, but I'm really studying the ground closely to see if I can find anything. But 
Not a whole lot, I tell you what. That looks like there's some right there. Okay. Huh, what do you know? Hmm. That's tempting. Is that actually that little thing back there is something that we can find a trading post with? But I don't know. Well, I think we'll call it for now. I think we'll find another planet we can get some more resources from. So let's get out of here and we'll take a look around. All right. Let's get out a little further. Hold on. All right. So I'm going to go back to first person. Why are we doing that? Because we want to use our radar in the center here to find the planets. So let's see what kind of planets we got here. There's one up here. Let's start here. Um, yeah, I guess we got a little further away here before we can... Okay. Now, petrified planet. We've got copper, gold, salt, and aggressive sentinels. Remember the aggressive sentinels portion of things. That could come in handy. Next planet. <clears throat> Copper, pyrite, silver, high sentinels, that can come in handy too. This planet, ancient bones, copper, mordite, silver, high sentinel activity, okay? So we got some interesting planets that we can go with. This one's fissured, copper, gold, silver. Uh, here's the planet we came from, I believe, right? Yes, okay. Which has copper, uranium, we got plenty of uranium, so we're in good shape there. Now, one thing I'm looking for, I'm not finding it suddenly, I could have swore there was a planet in here that had activated copper. Let's get a little further out and take a look around. And I'll tell you why we need that. Oh, wait a second. It's over there. Free stuff for all, huh? Yeah, great. Now, you see the space station, you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, let's go for the space station. We should really head for that, right? Um, we will. Because we do have to sell off some stuff, but if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's a double planet in there where the space station is. You look at the radar and you can see it. There's two planets there. Yeah, there it is. That's also. Huh. Copper, ammonia, high sentinel. Ancient bones, high sentinel. Copper. Copper. Okay. Well, I can't seem to find it. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's take a look at our expeditions real quick. So this gives us some interesting, you notice it's no longer blighted. This gives us some interesting items that we can get, nothing special. We're going to visit a red star, gives us storage augmentations, and things like that. What we're looking for is there's one of these gravitino balls, I think it is, gives, there it is, scatter blaster. So we need to get scatter blasters. Um, how do we get that? Gravitino balls, we got to get those. How do we find those? Look for a planet with aggressive sentinels. That's our next stop. Now, if we're fortunate, we can find some kind of a base or something like that. Hey, well, that's handy. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, because we can sell some stuff real quick. Uh, yep. What do you got, pal? Uh, let's get rid of... No, we're going to save those, save those. Get rid of these. 212... 84. He's giving us a little bit of a discount on that, unfortunately. We're not making as much, but no big deal. That gives us 300000 Anything we need? I don't see anything worthwhile. Okay. Back to our planet. <clears throat> so, excuse me. Um, so, we're going to need Gravitino Balls from here. Any planet that has aggressive Sentinels and does not have anything activated on it means that you can get the Gravitino Balls. They're worth a lot as well. So, it's really worth our while getting that. How long are we going here? Looks like we're a little over a half hour in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these videos in one hour increments. I, I find that I, I, while I like doing the half hour ones, and I know a lot of people like and prefer that, honestly, you, you can stop a video and come back to it anytime you want. So there's no reason why we can't make it an hour and just make it a more comfortable, comfortable playthrough. It gives me a little more flexibility. So as we get close to the one hour mark, I'll see where we're at. We'll find a pause point. I'll pause it. I'll stop it, say our goodbyes, and then we'll start the new video. So hopefully I can get a couple knocked out, and I'll be releasing them as the days go by. All right, here we go. Let's get out of uh, third person mode. Too late. And we didn't get attacked. That's good. 
No storms going on, even better. Let's see if we can find ourselves a place to land. Now, some of the guys are telling you, go ahead and get the copper, refine it into chromatic metal and stuff like that. Like I said, if you go to the space station and talk to the um, pilots that are there, most of them have chromatic metal in their inventory. Not sure if there's anything on this planet. What are you? Oh, it's only an hour away. You can go there for straight flight, right? I uh, don't think so. Okay, there's something. What do we got? Probably nothing. Not really worth my while. No. Another one. Let's check that one out. Looking for something that we can get indoors at if we have to. Hey, what in the world? Oh, okay, it's one of these planets. Okay, okay, yeah, we're not going to find much anything else here. I mean, I'll take a look, but I doubt we're going to find anything. Okay. So let's find a landing spot. This looks good. Okay. And of course everybody remember where we parked. And guess what? We're already being chased by sentinels. <laughs> uh, mining beam. I need some of these because I'm running a little low on them. We'll get some more. If we find anybody up there that has, uh, has, uh, like, dihydrogen jellies, we'll go ahead and grab them, and I'll just refine them into dihydrogen. All right. Now, what we're looking for, as they've told you, is this. Gravitino balls. Double stars. They're all over the place. That's an anagramic. Anomalous animal. Let's go ahead and scan it. Okay, we'll get that later. All right, where's the gravitino balls? There they are. Okay. Now, obviously, this is going to attract attention. As soon as they light up. Ooh, one. Oh, that direction. Okay. Yeah, that's right. They always pop up in front of you. Okay, there's more over there. over here. So they're going to keep searching for me, but we're going to be gathering up at least 16 of them. Okay, keep going. Next stop, looks like there's some over there. We'll just keep going. Oh, hello. Oh, crap! Oh, that's my bad. They found me. No big deal. Uh, that was kind of stupid. I thought I had recharged. Oh, there's some more down there. Thanks, buddy. And you can see them in the distance sometimes just by looking. Just gather up as many as you can, man, because they're worth a lot. So it's worth getting as many as you can. Why is that? Because at some point, I mean, as much as I love this ship, I might want to get a different one, like maybe a solar ship. And that could be worth my time. And I'd love to be able to get that, but I don't have the laser for it yet. Okay. What else we got? There's some more over there. And how many stacks of this crap we can get? more over there. Keep going, keep going. I mean, we got, oh, good grief, 10, 20, 30, 4. <laughs> How about we get one more? Try to make it an even 40. There we go. Uh, no, we don't need that. There's some more over here. Oh, hello. One, two, three, four, five. I'd like to get one more. Make it an even 40, like I said. And six. That should be enough. Ship. Ship. Ship over there. 
These are pretty wild planets, aren't they? Just creepiest things in the world. Anyway, so here we are. We gotta wait for the Sentinels to stop searching for us. We jump in the ship and try to take off now. We will be found by the um, Sentinels that fly. And your ship really can't handle them right now. So just go with it. But you have to get back to your ship in such a way as to not let the Sentinels find you again. That's the hard part. Okay, here we go. Stop! Get off my screen! Thank you. Oh, good grief. Alright, we're off. I'm out of here. Let's get a little ways away. And we're going to try shooting at the planet a little bit. I want to see what we can get. Here, switch over. Did we get anything? Nothing. Huh. Alright, one more shot with this. No? I'm not getting any resources. Alright, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so we're going to get a nice present for this. So for the time being, we're going to head to the space station, we're going to pick up some resources, and we will likely go on to the next system in our search. If I remember correctly, and I forgot about this, I thought this system carried other things that we needed. It doesn't really. This is the thing we needed. We could go to that planet right there that has ancient bones and get some more money, but really we've got everything we need right now. So while we're flying, let's jump out of here, collect our reward. Multi-2 expansion, and trust me, you're going to need that expansion slots for this, because you get your scatter blaster plans, plus two extra uh, upgrades for your scatter blaster. And you notice we need pugnium, right? Where do we get pugnium from? Normally we get it from the Sentinels, but we can't get it. So what we're going to do is we go to the space station, because guess what? It's sold at the space station. So we'll get our pugnium there, we'll get our chromatic metal there, we're going to get everything we need to move on. The only thing we haven't gotten is carbon. We'll get that in the next system. And we're using up quite a bit of tritium, but that's okay. Because there's another way you can fuel up your uh, pulse drive, and that's with pyrite. And guess what's sold at the space station? You guessed it. So while you may be willing to stop over at your uh, all these uh, asteroid fields and start picking up tritium, don't worry about it. You'll get everything you need. Yep, beautiful music. I love it. Okay, so we got the plans. Let's go ahead and sell everything off. I'd like to wait for a ship to land instead. So while we're waiting... Boink! And we're going to go ahead and upgrade. Okay. And it's going to add it in whatever spots it can. Did we get any other upgrades? I don't think we did. Uh, no. Okay. But we can upgrade our exosuit. And I am going to put it in here because I don't like gaps like that. They drive me up the wall. Alright, ship should have landed by now. Really? Am I, like, missing something here? Huh. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's weird. Okay, so what do we got? Let's put you into the exosuit. Is that cobalt? That's crazy. Hey, go visit our friend over here. Let's see what kind of resources we can get. Well, for the trade, all right, dust. Let's just go ahead and grab it. We do need some extra, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the cobalt because I agree with making the batteries. I saw one or the other. I think Jason Plays did that. What does he have in his inventory? You need quantum computers. Heads up. I'm going to take, I think, three. You're going to need them down the road. Look what he has. Chromatic metal. Big surprise, right? You don't really need the rest of this, so let's go ahead and get out of there. You can check with the other pilots, too, because some of them carry other pieces of equipment. Uh, well, minerals and stuff like that you might need. So there's no harm in checking. Maybe one of them has some more uranium. I don't know. But I think with 500 uranium, I think we'll be okay for a while. Uh, I'll leave that stuff alone. Uh, do we need microprocessors? I think we do. I think we need... I want to say we're going to need eight of those, but I don't have the money for it right now. Oh, wait a minute. 
Duh. That's okay. I'll be alright, guys. I'll just sell these. Okay, I think we'll have the money for it now. Let's get some of these. I get about 20. 20 ought to do. Uh, magnetize we don't need. We need the pugnium. There it is, see? Told you we'd get it. Uh, pure ferrite we don't need. Go back up. Go back up. What was I saying? Microprocessors we don't need. Okay. Yeah, we need the microprocessors. I'm sorry. We need about, what did I say? About six of them? Yeah, I think about six ought to do. Okay. That ought to do. That was weird. Okay. All right. Everybody's on their way out. I'll check one of these guys real quick and just see if they have anything else. I don't think I'm in need of anything else at this point. Uh, let's see. Cobalt, pugnium, ammonia, pyrite. There you go. Hang on just a second here, folks. Okay, sorry about that. We're back. Uh, let's see here. Don't think we need any of that stuff. We could probably, eh, I don't think we'll need any more pugnium, but we're going to need more pyrite. Let's see if somebody else has some. Oh, and usually you find the same kind of elements in the same kind of ships. So let's see what he's got. All right, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? There he is. That ought to do it. We don't need anything else. We should be great now. All right, so back to here. In the starship. Starship. Uh, let's put you in there. Get that going. Put that in the starship. Starship. Okay. Because we're going to need this. We're just going to make as many batteries as we can with the cobalt. We don't need any more cobalt after that. Sorry, slow going with the keyboard. We'll get there. I know, coffee break, right? There we go. That should be good. Goodbye. We don't need any more. So we get the ferrite. Let's put you there. Let's put you there, just because it looks pretty. There. There. Pyrite. That goes into my ship. Okay. Put you back down here. Starship, how we looking? Good. Multi-tools looking pretty good. Uh, let's just get everybody up to snuff real fast. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's move you over. We're going to put the scatter blaster right here. We've got Pugnium. we got the wiring loom. So now we got nice uh, technology. Notice my damage potential just went up to three grand. Uh, let me see. The upgrades were here. One here. And one here. What does that give us? Up to 36, 33. Let me just see something here. Nothing special. Okay. Plus one damage. Plus one damage. Uh, that kind of stinks. And we don't have anything in regards to nanites yet. And the only discoveries we have are on the one planet. That gives us a little bit. Of so we'll have to upgrade that later because we'll need to get a couple extra items. So how does our starship look? So we need to fix it with chromatic metal, which now we have, and three microprocessors, like I told you we need. It's now ready. Drop your three warp cells in it. We're ready to go. Uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the cobalt. We don't need that anymore. So I'm going to put these items down below. I still say we need those for something. I just don't remember what it was off the top of my head now. And these resources will stick up there. Ready to go? Okay. Let's get ourselves going. So what's next? We need to rescue an interstellar freighter. So that means we're going to be leaving this system. Let's go ahead and cruise. So we don't have anything more to do here. And we now have the ability to warp. So let's warp out of here. Now we're going to go by the path. The very next system is going to contain a lot of stuff that we need. So we're going to make sure we go straight to the system that tells us to. 
We're going to find storm crystals here. We're going to need those for special warp cells. We're going to need them for an upgrade to the freighter that we're going to get, etc., etc., etc. So we'll get through our first battle here. Look for signs on your screen that there's a battle coming. You'll usually see something appear in the background, and it looks like there might be some lasers. See, the ships appear. You already know what you're going to be expecting. When I'm in fight mode, go back to this. Get rid of this. And you're going to be going back and forth to, to your regular guns in regards to your other weapons. Just keep going. Switch. 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 And switch. Back to this ship. And switch. And it makes quick work of them like this. You don't want to try to shoot that freighter, okay guys? Be careful with your guns. And switch. And it looks like we got everybody. So how did many how many did we get? I think we got about five of them. So we want to answer the comm message. Blah blah blah. He wants us to come onto a ship. And follow the guidance. Kind of an interesting looking ship. There we go. Oh, and the noise. I still haven't fixed that. It's a little thing game still works, but, you know, so what if we uh, all go deaf listening to it? Yeah, who needs ears? They're overrated. Okay, off we go. Follow the red path. Orange path, whatever you want to call it. Okay, he's showing gratitude. You ask about the attack. He tells you that's all about the corrupted star chart and glitching and popping, and he's tired of looking at the site. He gives you a, a pirate map fragment. So this is one of three that you're going to be getting, as it says. Uh, I gather the attacking pirates were seeking this chart and that this freighter isn't the first to be attacked. Ask about other freighters. The captain shares the final transmission from a freighter lost from the fleet. Uh, contact with the pirate fraction. Abruptly stop and make note of its last known coordinates. Yeah, size, they look exhausted. Adjust to the control panel of their own freighter as if to suggest I take command. Inspect the freighter. It's a C class. Now, the funny part is, my other game that I was playing that I started on, they gave me an S class. Can you imagine? You know how hard it is to find one, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and claim this one because we need a freighter. Okay? And we're getting it for free. It's not costing us anything. So we're just going to go ahead and keep it. We're going to, you know, live with the fact that it's not exactly what we're looking for, but it is what it is. But one thing we have to do is we have to repair these. Guess what it needed? Quantum computer. But before we do that, we have to collect our reward. Why? Because we get a cargo upgrade and we get cadmium, which is what we need to fix it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my um, upgrades. So let's go ahead and repair. So we need computer. There's the cadmium. But we need a warp hypercore. We can only get them if we have storm crystals. Well, luckily we're in a system that happens to have storm crystals. Isn't that special? And then we can already charge this one later on when we're ready to go. Okay. So looks like we'll go ahead and do the cargo bulkhead just because we need to do it. Uh, additional storage. Where do we want to add it? Add it there or add it up here? I want to add it up here. I want to kind of... I got plenty of storage in there. Is there anything else we need to throw in there? No. I think we're good otherwise. So we have the quantum computers still. We'll need them later, like I said, while we're here. Always keep things up to snuff if you can. So now see, our, our hyperdrive needs upgrading. We need to upgrade that pyrite. Good thing I grabbed that. Isn't that neat? Okay, moving on. We have a couple more minutes. So we have our scatter blaster, as you remember, right? But it's no good without any ammunition. So let's get some ammunition going. There it is. Okay. And I usually get about five grand if I can. I'm going to put this into my starship. 
Uh, we're going to hang on to this. Actually, as a precaution, I'd love to deploy that in a special spot on this ship. I like to put it right here. Because... Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. It's a nice place to have a save point. In case you need to do a quick restore point. But it auto-saves these days, and, you know, it's no use in carrying it everywhere you go. Okay. So, let's go look for those planets I was talking about. So, we need two different planets here. We're going to need aggressive sentinels, or at least a, sen a planet with high sentinel activity. And we're going to need... Storm Crystal Planet. So, let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. This one is aggressive sentinels, so we're good there. But it's got copper, so that's all it's got. This planet over the horizon there, we'll check it out in a minute. We've got a scaly planet, just regular copper. We've got this one, also just regular copper. Let's go over here and check this one. If I can get lined up. Obsidian bead. Okay, not a lot of people are going behind the planet to see what's behind it. So guess what? We're going to. Because if you didn't look, you're going to miss it. Okay, I've got two planets back here. I think we're far enough out now. This one, which I think is a paradise planet. Yeah, okay, good. Moon. That's easy, even better. This one has activated copper. Well, isn't that neat? What's so special about activated copper? Because it's activated, it means it's this very, very stormy system. Storms equal storm crystals. So, let's go to the planet, get some storm crystals. Okay. So once we land on this planet, we're going to go ahead and call it here. I'll go ahead and end this video here, I think at this point. I really appreciate you being with me. I hope you like the video. Um, we're trying to improve the quality a little bit, trying to get things a little bit better. So I'm learning new techniques and new ideas. I always welcome comments. I, I really do. Uh, I know that sometimes you don't want to put a comment in. It can be a nuisance. But if you heard something that didn't sound right, if the audio doesn't come through properly, if you've got video issues or something along those lines, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, I want to know about these things. Because um, the more I know, the more I can help out and fix the videos and make these more quality. Okay, let's go back down to this planet. I want to find a decent spot to land. Uh, I think over there it looks good. By the water. Oh, what do you know? We're getting a storm right now. All right, well, we'll keep the video going for just a couple extra minutes here. Uh, I would need to see where I'm going here. Can't see a thing. All right. So as the storm gets heavy, we should find storm crystals. But the storm hasn't gotten to its peak yet. Let's wait. I keep looking for the signs of the rocks that normally are the storm rocks. Oh, there they are. Okay, guys. So this is it. This is going to be toxic, so it's a good thing you have your batteries on you. Storm crystals are worth a lot. That was a crazy looking creature. So you need to notice my extreme storm icon on the left hand side is going down like a rock. Fast. Come on. Thank you. Look for more. We'll check out the creatures later. 396. 248. We'll go that way. Rainbow in the sky, that's pretty neat. Occasionally these storms can get even nastier than usual, in that they'll have some windstorms come through, like tornadoes and stuff like that, so you gotta really be careful.
Gotta just keep it going. Uh, let's head over this way. Except we got a lot of storm crystals over here. Come on. I got lightning coming with it. Sorry, concentrating a little hard here because I want to make sure I get what we're looking for. Ah. Love that stuff. Gotta hold off on it though. Got it. Where's the other one? There's one over there. And one over there. That looks like it might have more. Hopefully we can get to it before the storm ends. Take the damage. <laughs> Alright, good deal. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah. Going through batteries, I know. Wish it was a hot planet. Yep, and it's over. Ah, so we ended up, see, they're worth two millions each. Very worth it. Okay, okay. So let's get our life support up to snuff. Let's get this back up to snuff. We'll use some of that. Okay, let's get back. We'll take, uh, take a taxi. How many creatures? There was a lot of creatures on this one too. Yeah, nine. Okay, two. We had all kinds of flying creatures, but I think they only show up during the storms, if I remember correctly. It was really crazy here. But even that little bit is going to help us. Ah, where did, did I put my ship? I don't remember where we parked. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, good, 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 good. So why is that good? see we need to be able to make the warp cells we don't have the ability to make the warp cells but we need the nanites in order to create what we need to so what we should do here is we need a way to way to make more nanites that's the bottom line here oh hello is that what I think it is I'll be darned I think we just found ourselves a very lucky spot we're gonna get we're gonna kill two birds with one stone while we're here Let's go have some fun. Alright, a little bonus round here on this particular one. Why is the door always the wrong direction from where I started? Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, very slow reload. Yeah, while we're here. Okay, let's grab some more nanites. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, that was really loud. Let's step outside. Sorry about that. Okay, that's a little better. Take out these guys, because they will summon more. You don't need that. With, you're not a strong enough level yet to deal with a whole lot more. Gather these up, they heal you. 
Remember, we have to get like 16 of these guys too. I suggest reloading after every set. out there. Well, there he is. We're going to have a walker here, so, or a four-legged creature here. Yeah, you hear him behind me. Keep moving. Best advice I can give you. Because he likes to jump at you. Watch him. Okay, got him. See? Got him. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. We want the walkers. Remember that. This is level four. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna complete a couple other uh, parts here. No others that way. Okay, so this is, uh, everybody's over here. Don't want any more for now because we're gonna get the 16 we want. Where's the walker at? Oh, I think I just heard him. And we're about to lose integrity. Oh, there's another one. Good. About to lose our shield. No, it's none. Okay, let's let our shield recharge for a second. We're going to run over here. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. There it is. Shield just recharged. Okay, we're charged. Now he will shoot flames at you when he gets too close. Oh, missed him. Got him. Okay, so he's gone. And we got a storm coming in. Great. Is that? Yeah, more storm crystals. Ugh, what a timing. So, let's step in here. Hence the good reason you want to be here. So obviously this is going to go a little longer than 60 minutes, right? We're at an hour 10 now. Gone. Get, take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Big guy just landed. Got him. Okay, good. Take out all the healers. There'll be a few. Good. Tough, huh? And you don't have the shield you need. This makes it for a tough fight. 
Oh, hi there. Careful, those things pack, pack a wallop. Whoops. Oh, this is fun, huh? Are we having fun yet? Oh, hi. Okay, give me the, uh, oh, I got him. What do you know? So we got a brain, and probably a second brain. Huh. Okay, and there he is. Good deal. Nicely done. All right. Let's go inside for the time being. Well, do we have any... Ah, figures. Never mind. I'm gonna go for more storm crystals, but we're good. So what are we doing in here? What was the other reason for coming in here? We can get this opened up. We can get some technology. Right? Let's see what we can do. I gotta figure it out. Uh, still remotely operated, no one responds to the klaxon call. Specialized piece of research. Can't understand a word of it. Manual confirmation of its experiment. I'm gonna say continue experiment. Ah, alright. I was hoping to get... Get what I needed, but I didn't get it. So, I'm not gonna cheat and restart. I'm just gonna call it. Eh, ah, now you know. Okay, so what do we get out of all this? Look at all the goodies. We're going to put this in our Starship inventory. We can sell the rest. We're not going to need it. Um, keep that. But we got this. A pug name we're going to put in there. We're going to sell that. Sell that. Guess what we got here, right? What do we get out of this? Stuff. I was hoping to get... And I got weapon shards, and they're useless to me because I'm not going to be doing a bolt caster. So we're going to sell those and get some nanites out of them. So at least that's going to be something. All right. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to sell those, the, 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 the sentinel shards. I'm going to go ahead and get some nanites out of them. I'm going to sell all the rest of the stuff that I have on me for the most part. But it's going to be very, very handy in the repairs next. So calling it now. Got an hour and 15 into this. Please leave some comments. And we'll see you in the next episode.